hi guys you're welcome back to my channel if you're new here you're welcome my name is Oti I create content on sewing tutorials and turban cap and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much I really appreciate you in today's video I'll be showing you guys on how I made this beautiful lovely booboo it is very easy to make I posted the stoning part in my previous video I'm going to put the link in the description box below and a lot of you guys asked me to post the sewing part of the video so this is the sewing part of the video the cutting and the sewing part of the video if you don't know how to use a stone board to make a rhinestone transfer to a dress please check my previous video i'm going to put the link in the description box watch it before you watch this one so that you will understand it properly so without further ado let's move right to the tutorial i used duchess fabric to make this dress this is the front bodies my fabric is folded into two from the folded edge i measured one inch like so then i'm going to connect that one inch mark into a straight line till i get to the m of the dress i'm working with length 64 inches including a main allowance from the folded edge measure one inch and roll into a straight line like so the next thing to do i'm going to Take the back bodies and place it on top of the front bodies like I'm doing. I'm going to make sure that the folded edge of the back bodies is on the line I created on the front bodies. Then I'm going to arrange the fabric properly so that it will lay flat and smooth all my measurements will be starting from the folded edge of the back bodies not the front bodies please take notes this is the back bodies and that is the front bodies I'll be working with neck width 4 inches for the neck width. Neck depth for the back 1 inch. Neck depth for the front 4 inches. Then I'll connect the necklines from my center back to where I want my sleeve to be is 24 inches I'm going to mark one and a half inches for my shoulder slope then I'll connect it to the neck width. My sleeve opening, I'm going to measure eight and a half inches. Then I'm going to come in by one inch to 
Shoulder to my hip line is 25 inches. Shoulder to my knee length is 42 inches. At my hip line, I'm going to impute my hip measurement divided by 4 plus 3 inches. The same measurement, I'm going to impute it at the lower part. And I'll connect that into a straight line. Next, from the one inch I came in from the sleeve opening, I'm going to draw my cow shape. Like so. If you don't want it to be below your knee, you can measure the midpoint from your hip to your knee and connect the cow shape to meet like so but i'm going to go with the first shape because that is what is on the side that i'm recreating so before i'll cut it out i'm going to add half an inch seam allowance at the shoulder then i'll cut it out I'm cutting the back neckline first, then the shoulder slope from the half inch seam allowance. The sleeve opening. And I'm cutting from the lower part following the shape that I created when you get to the sleeve opening you will cut it in a curved shape don't make that part to be sharp you curve your hand. That's about it for the cutting. So I'm going to remove the back bodies and continue with the front bodies. When you are working with Duchess fabric, always pin it down because it moves around a lot. So I'm going to mark the front neck depth. From the neck depth, I'm going to connect it to the neck width like so. Then I'll cut it out. After that, I'm going to mark four inches four inches from the neck depth i'm going to mark another four inches that is the amount of the slit opening that i want for the neckline for the front then i'll move to the lower part and also mark about 22 inches for my slit opening If you want it higher than 22 inches, you can measure from your shoulder to wherever you want the slit to start from. So the next thing that I'm doing, I'm slitting the front bodies into two. From the folded edge, I'm going to slit it open. I'm removing my paints while I'm cutting it open remember that that part is folded so I'm cutting it open so 
so the front bodies will be into two so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to take to my sewing machine from that four inches neck depth that i marked i'm going to sew on that straight line and stop at that slit opening i'll back stitch at that slit opening i'll start from that four inches mark and stop at that slit opening after sewing i overlocked the edges and i took it to my ironing table as you can see and i gave it a good press The 4 inch slits at the front bodies, I cut out ST and place it like so. The reason why I'm doing this is to make it stay, is to make the slits around the neckline of the front bodies to stand. It will make it fall when you wear it on your body. Then I press it down. This will make the slit stand firm. After that, I placed hemming gum from the neckline through to the hem of the dress, underneath the seam, as you can see. Then I gave it a good press. I place it underneath it as you can see. I did that to till the lower part of the dress. After that, I went ahead to place the design that I created from the stone board to make a rhinestone transfer. I place it on the front and I press it down with my heat transfer machine. I have already made a detailed tutorial on how to use a stone board to make a rhinestone transfer to a dress. I'm going to put the link in the description box below. So in case you don't know how to use a stone board, please make sure that you watch my previous video so that you understand what I'm doing properly. This is how the front body looks. The rhinestone transfer came out very beautiful, as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to place the front and the back bodies together, right side facing each other. I attach strip of fabric to my waistline, as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to sew the shoulders 
I'm going to aim the sleeve opening. I'll sew the sides and also aim the lower part. Then I'm going to use a bias strip to finish the neckline. This is the final look guys. We've come to an end of today's tutorial. If you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you have any question regarding today's tutorial, feel free to drop it down in the comment section. Please make sure that you subscribe to my channel because I have lots, lots of design coming your way. So until I come your way next, thanks for watching. Please stay safe and remain blessed. Love you all. Bye.